Hey everybody, HMB here, playing more Kerbal Space Program, and the Even Everer is launching. Um, this ship, of course, comes after the Everer, which came after just the Eve ship. Um, this has been a long road, and you should be happy to not have to witness those horrible, horrible attempts. Also, you should be happy to witness this launch, which proves that my rockets are just as wobbly as yours sometimes. But after we ditch the launch stage, things do calm down. But with a low TWR, we need to aim a bit up to keep heading upward. It's still pretty efficient because we didn't have to bring extra engines. I keep the shroud until we're in space and ditch it to show off the EVE ship, complete with return vessel on the end. With not too much work, I get an ejection burn plan that will leave me with over a kilometer per second in the transfer stage to slow down at EVE. And we nail it. Without much ado, we arrive at EVE. The whole idea here is that I want to at least have some control over where I land. So I burn just into orbit, then burn to make that orbit mostly equatorial, then use almost all of what's left of the transfer stage's fuel to burn down as low as possible, then use the last few meters per second to ditch the transfer stage into the atmosphere. Oops, just over 90 kilometers. So, after doing the burn, I flip the ship around and ditch the transfer stage backwards. 89.5 km periapsis, officially ditched into the atmosphere. I inflate the heat shield, bring my periapsis down to 80 km or so, make a ridiculous number of passes in which I totally forgot to record leaving the return ship in orbit, flew over the huge continent that takes up about half of Eve's equator, and came down right into this little bay of this tiny lake. I hit the chutes anyway, and then, oh. Oh, no, no, that's not good. Staging problem there. I was supposed to ditch the air brakes, but instead hit the heat shield, which took out most of the ship. I try again with the same descent profile, trying to use aerodynamics to slow down more. I fail. But this time, after the chutes, I drop the air brakes correctly. Then the heat shield but only after slowing down all the way. The air brakes do their best Mary Poppins impression, and then we splash down into the Explodium Sea. With a name like Explodium, we just have to try igniting our engines, don't we? We can't aim up, so I aim down, then up, and we're airborne. I've used way too much fuel already, though, and there's no way I'm reaching orbit today. So let's try a 70 kilometer periapsis, shall we? I make several passes and this time get into a low orbit so I can pick my landing spot better. However, this uses up a lot of my return fuel. I figure I'll worry about returning when I've gotten back from the surface of EVE. With a 65 km periapsis, I ditch the return stage and send it back into a stable orbit. And then we come down again. And annoyingly miss all of that continent again. But I am coming down on land at least. I pop the chutes, ditch the Mary Poppins umbrella, lose the heat shield, fail to get clocked in the head with the air brakes, and come to a landing just shy of 300 meters off of sea level. This should be a cakewalk, right? And we launch. Those explosions, by the way, were expected. I'm impressed with the vector's usefulness here. It seems custom made to launch from EVE with. I'm also impressed with just how quickly it chews through fuel. I throttled down a bit on launch to save on air drag and end up in space with 700 meters per second less than I need to reach orbit. Let's call that a test run and try again. Full throttle all the way. I bird sideways and keep burning to flatten my trajectory a bit on ascent. Not quite a gravity turn, but better than nothing. And it works! I've got 272 in the tank and only need 100 to reach orbit. One problem though, I forgot about my tilt. With the 172 meters per second I have left, I can fix about half of it and get an encounter. Sounds good to me. I burn away the last of my fuel, and it's up to Val now to do the rest. She starts burning way too late and realizes quickly that she's got a lot of burning to do. It takes a few orbits, but eventually we get something we can work with. And finally, back to the return ship. But with only 736 meters per second, she can't even escape Eve's gravity. So it's time to launch the EVE Rescuer. No real surprise here. Just a ton of meters per second of Delta V and a nuke engine to make sure we never, ever run out of fuel. 
Even I'm getting bored of the orbital machinations at this point, so I'm skipping ahead a bit. But note I use the fuel left in Val's ship here to raise her orbit, so the rescuer wouldn't have to go all the way down and then all the way back up. Val hops out, grabs the science, and heads over to the rescue ship. Oh look, it's only a year until the return window opens up. Let's just jump to that, shall we? Note, I've still got over 8 kilometers per second in the tank. Can you tell I'm sick of hugging the margins? <laughs> I toss all that fuel and the nuclear furnace to burn up alongside me in the atmosphere, and hope that all that radioactive fallout exploding in front of me doesn't affect Val in any significant way. She seems fine as she splashes down, ending the mission. And it's time to upgrade! Yay! And it's time to run out of money. Boo! I estimate I need about $2.5 million to upgrade everything. And looky there! A contract that pays $3 million total. Am I dumb enough to try it? Find out next time. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I'm HMV and I will, as always, talk at you later.